All right, I'm here in the old stand of oaks with the family dogs. There's Bernie. They got a squirrel tree. He was doing like an initial scouting investigation. First thing I did was check this out. Look at that. Twisted down. Sometimes the video thumbnails wrap themselves. Look how dry it is out here. That dog is barking. There's squirrels everywhere out here. Look what they got. Oh, there's just squirrels up there. Uh, God knows what that is. That's going to get annoying. Let's see what we got out here. This is Dry Creek Red. Creek Red. Just going to take a little walk. I just had a big, big family dinner, so I'm going to hit the old creek bed and see what we can see here. I'm just getting into the uh, Squatch world, so I'm going to see if I can see some evidence out here. When it's wet, this is a... <coughs> when it's wet outside, this is a... Uh, Pretty deep creek. And it's been dry here in North Alabama, and as you can tell, no water. Tree stump. Hopefully, no snakes. It's 80 degrees, but it is November, so take that for what you will. Tree stump moved over. I'm gonna go explore over here. I bet I can find some arrowheads down here. Let me check that over that one come back out. What's the dog? Let's see. Oh, there's a squirrel's nest over there. All right. Let's walk down here to the end. I got my orange vest on. I'm trying to see if I can see any telltale tree X's or anything I would have ignored before I got into this. First pee out of the dish. Look over here. We got some trees that are bent. I just know the rattlesnakes are out still. What is it, dog? Let me see. You gonna pee on that tree? Let's get him. Let's get him up, buddy. Let's get him. What's up there? They see something. First thing, look at this. How curved that is. That's kind of cool. What's doing all these trees are curved. There's several. That's curved. That's curved over there. It's pretty neat. I can see where you would get. So there's an X. Let's go ahead this X. Three X's up here. Tree that fell directly in between four or five other little trees. That's kind of cool. Don't step on the snake. I don't know if you can see that or not. Jeds fell. He fell in between four. Of it. Made like a. Like a v. I'll try to walk over the tree. <laughs> Dogs are so loud. At least I know maybe like a, <laughs> if it's like a Sasquatch in a tree, I don't see it. A ton of squirrels. Hey, Bernie. Hey. <laughs> yeah, oh. <laughs> right. What do you see? <laughs> oh, what you see? <laughs> I saw a squirrel first got hit now it's gone. Right, see that? I got an X here. It's in between two trees. Right in between two trees. Let's over here. Here's an interesting one for you. TP as well. There's a lot of meat out here. Look at that. And there's a dog that's bucking a lot. Um, 
I don't see I don't see what these things are barking. Hope you can hear me pretty well. I'm just free freelancing. I'll tell you one thing. If I were if I were a large animal bipedal creature in these woods, this would be a perfect place. It's about uh, maybe 20 acres. I may be way off on that. It goes pretty good ways back to the creek. And there's a deep creek that's actually going to have water in it year-round with fish. Young stand of timber. Plenty of deer. This is actually the plot of land where I killed, technically where I killed my very first deer. On Christmas Day back in 2000. There's some controversy around what my first deer was. We'll get into that later. <laughs> back out here to the trail it's still hot so it means it's still snake country in Alabama can't believe how deep dry the creek there is Watching the deer hunters too. This is opening weekend of rifle season here in Alabama. This is pretty fucking cow dry. We show some beaver dams that were four feet underwater when it's wet outside. This is neat. It'd be cool if I got a tree peeker on here. I didn't even know it. Oh, there's another. A lot of these bent trees out here. A lot more. I know it's caused by something laying on them and growing, but damn, a lot. <laughs> All right, here we go. There's an old beaver dam. Can't really tell much about it. There's another bigger bent tree. I won't show that. She's gonna burn. Oh, see some more stuff. See that bent tree over there. Ooh, it's dry here, folks. formation the vines on that tree there I can zoom in oh yeah that's cool I can zoom way out too cool cool good old iPhones man Kind of evidence. It'd be fun if I get out here and see a tree knot. I hear it get a tree knot. I hear a lot of gunshots. It'd be the wrong time of year in this state for if I was a bipedal creature out here. I'll tell you that. See, see, dog. Again, if you're watching this, feel free to watch it in slow motion so you can see any tree peekers. There's been no, this is not a known Bigfoot area, but most places aren't. This would be a perfect hangout if I was one. Nobody's ever out here. Not for all intents and purposes. All intents and purposes. Walking to about maybe a quarter of a mile back in here, maybe longer. I don't walk it much because during the summer it's full of snakes. During... Yeah, that 
bird. It's either a bird or a squatch. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a bird. Wood hen, I believe that's what it was. Don't quote me on that. Oh, look at that big tree that fell. It's crooked. Let's walk over here to this. Here, gunshot. That time of year, I used to would have been out every year. I just kind of outgrown it. I still like it if I could, but I don't really want to hunt anymore. I still like deer meat. And I'll probably start back if I ever get a bow. But the smoking does looking at it ain't for me anymore. Here we go. Check that out. Now what bent that down? This tree's kind of tied into it. That's what bent that down. snap right over there there's a few in here man there's a few in here got eating acorns squirrels and eating acorns in here I think whatever tree this was laid on this tree when it was growing that's what happened but it's been a long time ago look how tall that tree is <laughs> One right next to it. What the shit, man? Look, there's three right here in a row doing the same thing. Look, it's a big tree. There's one there. Two or three more here. I mean, it is a it is a younger oak stand, so it could just be the trees falling as they grow old. The trees been. Most likely is. <laughs> is a buck scrape or is it a footprint? It's definitely a buck scrape. There's another tree that fell. It's down. Nothing tying it down again. I don't know. Let's go over there. Well, there's like Put things down through there. I'm pretty sure that's what squirrels are eating. Yeah. Hmm. See the acorn holes in them. Here's a, it's a bigger tree. Look how big that is. Just laid over. Comes the doggies. It's just neat. It's neat that there's more bent trees over there. There's a dog. A ton of bent trees out here. Makes you, I mean, you know, anecdotally, what's it mean? I don't know. Realistically, tree falls and it grows like that. A lot of them. Forgive the camp. See, there's a couple more. Look. Let's get back on the trail. The, uh, the way the squirrels have been going in a row searching for stuff, it's crazy. It, looks like, it really looks like big footprints. I'm just trying to be, trying to be realistic. <laughs> and in denial, maybe, I don't know. All the acorns, all the eaten up acorns and everything just tells me it's probably squirrely. Oh. Nevertheless, very good 
a very good sampling of a scouting adventure with the old dogs wearing my basically wearing my camp slippers luckily they ain't muddy at all you probably pay ten dollars a gallon for a big bucket of mud right now it's a little of it trapped in briars ah, trapped in briars stickers on my feet all right back on the trail you can check that out. That one hauled the hole. Brown hog. Back on the main trail here. That's just two of them there. This one's wider. There's no water here at all. Which is sad because it's usually water here up to here. That's why there's a second trail. Oh, that trail's over there. In the wet part of the summer, you get stuck bigger and shit back through here. You see, dog. You see, dog. What you got? Throw in that hole. Check this out. Old beaver dam. Dug it out with a dug it out with a tractor a few months ago. <laughs> wow, it was dry. Flick a cigarette out now and take out half the country. Dan's in another beaver dam. Uh, yeah, Bernie's in another beaver dam over here. Check this out. Look at that. Look how complicated that is. It's like a matrix. Look at that little. There's a beaver trap. Check that out. Beaver dam. When we dig it out and dug it out. Let me know if you see anything as I walk. Field. I'm just having a good time at this point. Walking around so I can see. You see there's another Free structure back in there. Dog. Creek starting to get a little deeper over here. Still, still empty. Oh, we got water. There's water. Can't tell if I'm breathing hard or not. Just ate. <laughs> don't have to interfere with any hunters. Not be out here. I don't think they are. I checked the little parking spots before I did. But... We see, burn. Nothing else damn true. Oh, the squirrel's nest up there. That checks out. Squirrel dog, see squirrel's nest. You see one? I don't see one. I think you're on drugs.
Let's go on drugs, bro. Part smell. <laughs> Good Lord, it's loud. It's pretty right in here. I'd love to have this land. Floods crazy over it. Sure is pretty. Why don't y'all sub to my podcast and share it so I can have enough money to buy this land. <laughs> See some turkeys back in here. It's also a good old tree. Some water, it's old beaver dam. This is the bigger beaver dam. I won't go much further just in case there is anybody hunting on this creek. Let's go over the water. I see a bird, a duck of sorts. They're chasing, these dogs are chasing birds. And these ducks over here. I feel like we some wildlife. Some more tree structures. Check it out, this one's broken off. This is interesting. Come with me. I'm trying to be a little quieter. Talking got the phone real close to my face and just got my elbow locked. But look at this. And fell and snapped. Bunch of them over here. What does it mean? Oh my god, what does it mean? What does it mean? It means there's trees in the woods and they fall. Yeah, check it out. I mean, nothing. That's interesting. That's fucking interesting. It snapped, but why is it. What pushed that down to snap? When I grow like, well, maybe. It had tension on it. I don't know. Tell me what you think. It's a dead tree, obviously. Well, especially now. What are those dogs after? There'll be a deer chasing me here in a minute. Make sure I don't see any shooting houses. I don't think there are. Some ducks. See them? I think I'm wearing a woman's. I think I'm wearing a female's. Uh, I got some duckies. Female's hunting vest here because this thing is not strapping on my big old, big old self. I got some ducks. See them? Wood ducks. Mallards, those mallards. Something scared them. Something's me. <laughs> and my dogs. Anyway, there's the tea. 
in the water. I don't think this ever gets that dry because that's a deeper creek. That's an actual creek that runs to the river, the Tennessee River. I'm gonna walk right up here. Give y'all folks a good look down this. Oh, I know what's going to look at the monster in the water. Look at monster. He's swimming. <laughs> Hope nobody's not know me. Look at him. Dang. Dang. <laughs> He's muddy. His ass seems muddy as hell. Okay, hope my buddy's not hunting over here. Switch hands. Shotgun shell. Creek's dry too. I think this ever went dry. Oh my god. Big pile of sticks. Alright, peeps, let's head back home. Half hours with the video. Some tree pickers. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it off to the side here. Kind of half down the trail, half down the half into the woods. To see if y'all see anything suspicious as I walk back. I know I should have it behind me, but. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Maybe I... Uh, no, I'm just going to do this. So, how, how could I do that? There we go. It's the end of the woods. Pretty interesting just to see the amount of tree structures. Look at that. No trees that are down. There's a bunch of them. There's seven or eight. There's Bernie. Up and off. We're going, Bernie. I'll lend it back to me. Right. So, what do we think? I think in the world of potential squatchness, this is, has potential. I don't know what to look for, actually. I think during the wetter part of the year, there's actually, there's actually good sized fish to come in through here. This is attached to the Tennessee River. Uh, it's actually a good sized fish up in this creek. I used to fish here when I was younger a lot, especially during the summer when all I have is a bicycle. And I'd catch, you know, eating sized catfish, eating sized bass, bream. And uh, we're going to explore these culprits up here too. So definitely pretty well stand the timber. Probably about 40 acres, 20 acres. Say 40 more like it. I 
fucking off my dinner, I'll tell you that. Yeah, spin it around. I don't know if you can see me or not, but uh, yeah, I'm walking out. I'm gonna have the camera out here. You can see the tree pickers. Um, walking out of here. That's what I'm doing. I'm walking out of here. Can't see what my video is, so I don't like this. Sorry, folks. Not looking at me. I know you wouldn't look at me to walk in the woods for no reason, but that's too bad. I'll start doing one of these a week. Kind of fun. Nice little walk. Kind of hard during deer season, but you do what you do. What time is it? It's almost 4 p.m. Getting dusky dark. Sun's going down, not getting dusky dusky. Going to have an hour so before it gets dark. There's the end of the road. Get down here. <laughs> Got the dog shot. I'm getting annoying. Okay. You can't hear them. I try to walk quieter, but impossible. Too soon. And smells of pain. I'll tell you what, I'm not going to check out these culverts. I'm going to say goodbye to everyone. Thank you for watching. This has been a fun little uh, afternoon scout trip for some Sasquatch potential signs to see what to look for. And uh, please subscribe and share with your friends. Check out all my other Bigfoot playlists. We can get back around. Like, say goodbye, Dan. He's going. Where's he going? Say goodbye, Bernie.